Hey everybody, this is Isaac A. Wardell. I'm a social marketing strategist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the background for your Twitter account. So if you already have a Twitter account or have just created a Twitter account, you know that the background is this clouds that you can see. But Twitter allows us to customize our background and really make it personal and branded. So today we're going to change the background. So let's just come up here and click on our profile. We're going to click edit your profile or you could do it through coming up and clicking this little down arrow and clicking on settings. Either way we'll get you to the same place. Alright and then you're going to see these tabs over here and we're going to click design. Alright and they've got some default themes but we're going to upload our own background. Alright we're just going to go ahead and click save changes on that for now and now you can see it just popped up with our wonderful Anderson Tools background alright so now we could change a few more design colors here if we wanted but uh, I'm thinking it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it for now and so now if we come back to our Anderson Tools page here you can see the it shows up beautifully. Uh, we've got a little bit of a redundancy here in the logo, but that's okay. And we've definitely got that nice little logo out here. So anybody that comes to our Twitter website here knows that uh, we're custom branded. We've got a professional looking account, and it really is going to help them pop. And of course, you can make this whatever sort of background you wanted to really make it pop and jazz there. Now note you're going to have a little bit of difference depending on what screen you're viewing the, on. Um, I've got a little bit wider screen. The Twitter part is centered and the image always displays from the left. So if you uh, do a little bit smaller screen here as you can see it's going to push the Twitter part clear over the logo. So just be aware of that. You may want to create a little bit uh, smaller sidebar over here or you may want to left align it. A lot of times it's left align. I'll show you mine here and you can kind of see what I mean by left align. So as you can see mine's left align. So if I do this, um, the middle part moves but the image does not because it's left aligned um, over there. So that's something you may want to consider when you are doing your background is just left aligning it instead of uh, trying to center it or get everything centered because that's going to move around depending on what kind of screen you have. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, I've got a whole lot more tutorial videos and templates and free white papers and other great resources at my website, IsaacAWardell.com. All you have to do is head on over there, put in your name and email, and I'll send you a private link to where all those resources are hosted at. I look forward to seeing you over there.